How you doing? Section 11 Outdoors. Uh, it's about the middle of December right now, and I haven't got my snowmobile out of storage yet, so I'm headed over to <clears throat> where that's uh, stored at. And I got my battery with me and a can of gas. I'm going to see if I can get it fired up. I haven't started it all summer, so I when I put it away, I put wreck fuel in it, uh, not ethanol fuel. Yeah, I haven't started it since. I put it away in probably like the first part of April. So it's been sitting that whole time. We'll see how it goes. Got a toolbox, got the battery, and got some gas. There it is, all covered up. Oh man, doesn't look like anything right now under that tarp. Almost forgot what it looked like. There she is. I call that my grandpa windshield. I actually have a a shorter white one that looks pretty sweet. But I put that one on when it's super cold or if I got kids riding with me or something. Alright, let's see if we can get her fired up. I think I gotta put the belt back on. I have to put the battery in it. I got a rag stuck in the exhaust and I think I got mothballs in it, so should just take a couple minutes here and we'll be ready to fire up. You can take this bolt out. Just flip this around backwards. Thread it in. What it does when you tighten this is it actually compresses the spring and opens up the secondary. And that allows the belt to slip on a lot easier. You're always supposed to put the belt on so that you can read the words on it, facing that way. I almost got it. There it goes. That wasn't so bad. Now you can just loosen this. Tighten this bolt back up. That's it for the belt. Alright, um, I already pulled the rag out of the exhaust, so that's not an issue. Uh, the last thing to do is to put the battery in. Now, you'll see, I bought this used. I wouldn't have ordered this, but it does actually have a heated seat. Pretty darn nice. like that. Pretty sure. Oh, it seems to be going on hard. Huh. Wouldn't you know it? I put it in backwards. Guess I need to switch it around. Maybe that's why it went in so tight. Yep, fits better that way. Alright, I'm just going to put the seat back on. It's 
Sorry the picture is so bad in here. It's a little dark we don't have any lights. This is the moment of truth. Will it start? I think I'll prime the fuel pump a couple times. Just a minute before I try to move it. So I rode it around the yard, just pulled it back in here. Uh, I forgot I was going to stop and shut it off outside and do a little walk around so you guys could see it. But um, it's a 2015 XF7000 Snow Pro Edition. So it's a 141 with a 1.6 lug. And it's got the 1049cc Yamaha 4 stroke in it non-turbo. I really like it. Um, it's pretty good for the type of riding we do. We don't do a lot of we don't do a lot of trail riding. Um, we do a lot of two tracks and kind of cross country, some off trail stuff. So it's just about the right length and the right lug. If I could actually find uh, a little bit deeper lug track, I might think about buying it. I know they make a 141 by like uh, two and a quarter, I think. So that wouldn't be bad because up in the UP we get into some deep snow sometimes. But um, it's a pretty good machine. It's my first four stroke. Before that, or before this sled, um, I had an F7. An 03 F7 Patriot Edition that I put about 10,000 miles on that sled. I loved it, but it was time to move on. I'd had it for oh, about 11 years. So I wanted something different. This is my first four stroke. I, I really like it. Pretty happy with it. I guess that's about it for this video. Got my snowmobile out. It started, so I'm happy about that. I'll see you guys in the next video.